Okay, we've talked now about uh, the role of our arms and our hands in the swing. So now we're to the point of contact. We're, we're using our right hand and our arms to deliver the bat head to the ball. One a common mistake that happens is for players to work hard at getting in the correct position and delivering the bat head to the ball and then stopping at that point and not following through with their swing. And really what you're doing is you're robbing yourself of power. So a long fly ball to the outfield maybe could have been a home run if you just would have followed through. So it's a common habit that players want to make contact and then look up and stop their swing and see where the ball goes. But you're, you're, you're hurting yourself by doing that. So when we practice, we want to make sure we hit through the ball. One of the things you can do is you can, whenever you're hitting, act like there's a couple more balls behind the baseball that you're hitting. So instead of just hitting this one ball off the tee, act like there's two more balls light up behind it. And you need to hit through all three of those. That'll make sure that you stay on it and extend. You want to try to generate power, bat quickness, and you want to do that all the way through your swing. You don't want to stop it right on contact. So as you practice, no matter when you're hitting, try thinking about hitting through three baseballs rather than just the one and make sure you swing through hard and swing through powerful and all the way through the ball. If you, if you do that, then it's just natural to have a nice, smooth, complete follow through. If your parents or, or your coach or somebody sees that you're not following through, chances are you're stopping on contact or before contact and you're more worried about where the ball's going than completing your swing. So if you hit through the baseball hard, you'll need the full follow through in order to uh, slow down the bat naturally and then be ready to take off. Don't be in a hurry to get done with your swing so you can take off for, for first. Get a good swing in, get a good follow through, and you'll still, you'll still be able to get out of the box quickly. So, on our follow through, the main thing I want you to think about, because we don't want to roll the wrists over, is we want our bat head to continue along on the same path. So if I'm swinging at a high pitch, and I'm up here swinging at that pitch, my follow through should be along that same plane. Remember, we got the rings of Saturn as far as how we're going to determine a level swing. So if I'm swinging at a high pitch, my follow through should be high. If I'm swinging at a low pitch, now my follow through is gonna come up and be high, okay? Now some people will follow through and hold on to the bat the whole way. So they'll hit through the ball and then they'll hold on to the bat all the way around on their follow through. Some players you'll see will swing and then once they get to a certain point then their hand comes off, their upper hand comes off and they'll follow through with their lower hand. Whatever works for you I think is fine. For me I feel much more comfortable letting my uh, upper hand off the bat and following completely through. I feel it helps me get my hips all the way around and, and doesn't restrict me. So for me, I prefer it that way, but I, there's a lot of great hitters out there who will keep both hands on the bat all the way through. So again, whatever is most comfortable for you will work in that case.